Next up on WTV, a new dual credit program, a teacher's hobby, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, November 20th, and I'm Cooper Eagle with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Students in Frisco ISD will now have a new opportunity to earn college credit with the recent addition of UNT's dual credit program. WTV's Luke Martin has the details. Partnering with the University of North Texas, Frisco ISD is bringing a new dual credit program to a limited number of students in the class of 2022. The program will begin in the 2020 to 2021 school year and will incorporate a project-based approach, emphasizing specific skills that are important to employers. Students will earn a minimum of 42 college credits at a reduced tuition rate and automatic admission to the University of North Texas to complete their degree. Tonight's meeting will take place at Lebanon Trail High School from 6.30 to 8. Reporting for WTV, I'm Luke Martin. Many teachers have a hobby to help them get away from their work. For English teacher Chad Doty, that means breaking out as inner artist. WTV's Jessica Layton has a story. When he is not reading or grading students' essays, Doty likes to do scratch art. Uh, so scratch art is a general term for any kind of art that has some sort of white surface with black ink on top of it where you scrape away the black to reveal the white underneath. He started just like any other student would doing art from 10th to 12th grade. He did a lot of scratch art in his AP art class in 12th grade, then started to do portraits for friends and family with each piece taking hours to finish. I don't, I don't really keep track, but I would say any piece could take from 8 to 10 hours. To learn more about scratch art, Chad Doty has his own website called Scratch Board by Chad. This website has tips on scratch art, his own pieces, and more about the art and how it is done. Anyone can email him to have an own personal piece of a pet or animal done for them. He does take commissions for any custom piece he does, such as a 9 by 12 portrait would be $200, including materials, the working of the art, and shipping. Reporting for WTV, I'm Jess Clayton. There are numerous ways for students on campus to give back to their community. This can be done through various clubs and organizations on campus, but for some students, it's done off campus. WTV's Jay Carvey explains. Volunteering and helping the community attracted many students to join Young Men's Service League. So I joined YMSO because it's basically just a big organization that just helps the community out. And I feel like in Frisco, people don't like realize how some people actually do need help. And so YMSO kind of like points that out and then let you help the people around Frisco and in McKinney and Allen and all those cities. YMSL service brings many different things to the community. With a recent endeavor seeking to help victims of a recent natural disaster. So YMSL brings to the community, so it's just a bunch of service projects. And so like recently we did like the ultimate gift. And so we like made these little care kits for people who were like affected by the hurricanes and all that. And so they'll like ship those off. So basically it's just service projects that helps people around Frisco, specifically Frisco, but also just around the world. Beyond community service projects, the Young Men's Service League helps its members in other ways. Um, every month we have a meeting where everyone in YMSL from our grade all across Frisco comes together and a professional speaker talks to us about things we need to know for high school or anything that we need to know for the future. Reporting from WTV, this is Jay Carvey. On today's Sports Minute, WTV's Walker Shippey gives you a recap of basketball. In their first game of the season, boys basketball matched up against the Little Elm Lobos last night. The team started off strong, winning the first and tying the second quarter, heading into halftime with a three-point lead. The Red Hawks stayed on top of the Lobos, finishing the game out with 16 and 14 points in the third and fourth quarters, coming out on top of Little Elm 55 to 48. The team is looking to move their record to 2-0 as they take on the name Forest Rangers on Friday at 7:15 at the Nest. For WTV Sports, this is Walker Shippey. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Today's counselor session will cover the topics of ASVAB, Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, which will be tested on campus on February 5th from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., as well as other training and educational benefits associated with the military. Seniors, if you have not taken a cap and gown photo, you will not be in the yearbook. Call Southern Images at 972-414-6884 immediately to book your free photo session. See Ms. Breen in C-147 if you have questions. That's it for today's daily update. This is Cooper Riggle for Wingspan TV.